Who would say no to a foot massage? I'll tell you who. My girlfriend Beth, that's who. Last night, she plops her feet on my lap while we was watching House. She has these lovely, slender little feet. Her, her small toes taper off nicely from the big one. Anyways, I told her so, and I finally came clean about my foot fetish. I mean, we've been together for two years. I figured it was past time. Do you know what she does? She freaks out, that's what. Thinks I'm some kind of pervert or something. I mean, it was a foot massage. It's not like I asked her to fuck me with her feet, is it? You don't have to talk. Look at me and I can hear everything you cannot say. Permit me to be frivolous. What will our first meal be together when I come home from my studies? <laughs> it would be simple. A canadal soup. A plain piece of meat with horseradish. And for dessert, I will think of something very sweet. Why don't you just hire a prostitute to sleep with Josh? Oh. And she'll leave him for cheating. But yeah. That's what I do. To your own sister? Yes. It's for her own best. She doesn't know any better. Oh. And he's a moron. And so is she. And so are you for allowing this to go on so long. That picture looks like one of my clients. You know him? Yes, I do. Great. What's his name? <laughs> not sure. How tall is he? Not sure of that either, honey. Don't quit your night job! Oh, I don't know. I have a particularly boring job and I've ruined quite a few dates talking about it. Can't imagine you ruining any date. <laughs> I don't even have to do much. Really, I think I must have some kind of genetic mutation, some weird DNA code that makes me ruin dates. 